everyone. Another day at Cindy Harper Speak. So that means we have another story. And we are still reading for our book, from our book, Bold Women in Black History by Vashti Harrison. And today we're going to read about an educator and a sculptor. Her name was Augusta Savage. Augusta grew up in a poor family with 13 brothers and sisters in Green Cove Springs, Florida. As a child, she had no toys to play with, but she loved to make things. Augusta spent time in her backyard where the soil was rich with natural red clay. This was where she learned to make miniature animals for herself and others. However, her father did not approve of her creativity. Even though it meant angering him, Augusta continued to sculpt. In 1921, she moved to Harlem, a prominent African-American neighborhood in New York City. At the time, the community was experiencing an exciting boom in the arts known as the Harlem Renaissance, and Augusta was part of it. She thrived artistically, but this did not change the hardships of racism that were still prevalent in the United States and around the world. Augusta openly fought racial prejudice in the art world and was labeled a troublemaker. She said that she was standing up not only for herself, but for, <clears throat> excuse me, but for future students of color. Augusta decided, or excuse me, Augusta dedicated much of her life to teaching and encouraging young people to pursue their artistic passion she felt that their creations could be part of her legacy. In Harlem, she opened her own school, the Savage School of Arts and Crafts, and she became the first director of the Harlem Community Arts Center. In 1939, she created her most iconic work, a large piece commissioned by the New York World's Fair titled lift every voice and sing, also known as the harp. Despite her artistic success, Augusta struggled with finances and racism until late in life, but she always found a way to keep making art. That's beautiful. Well, I love the fact that she created that piece known as the harp for the New York World's Fair. Phenomenal. Augusta Savage. I learned about an educator and a sculptor today that I didn't know about before. If you like this and learn something new, please press like at the end and I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.